The Notre Dame Fighting Irish last year had a very, very weird season. They started off the year with a loss to my Buckeyes in the shoe, man. Y'all came to the shoe and y'all got beat, man. We, you know, we dominated y'all on the line of scrimmage. It was just, a, you know, a bloody game for y'all. But throughout your whole season, y'all actually beat the two teams that was in the ACC championship, the Clemson Tigers and the North Carolina Tar Heels. So to me, that made y'all the ACC champions. I don't understand why y'all have yet to join a conference. That is annoying. Like, I don't understand why y'all want to be independent because it hurts y'all chances at getting into a playoff. Y'all literally have to go 12-0 and 0 to get into a playoff instead Y'all could go to a conference and go, you know, 11 and one and still make the playoffs. So I don't understand that. But Marcus Freeman last year, he had an up and down year. I don't believe Marcus Freeman is ready to be a head coach at the highest level, especially at a, you know, at a university with the prestige of a Notre Dame. But you know what? Y'all believe in him and I believe in y'all's future. Y'all lost y'all's offensive coordinator and Tommy Reese to Alabama. But y'all's offense wasn't really that good last year. So I don't know who y'all offensive coordinator is now, but we shall see. In this video, I got the 2023 Notre Dame football schedule preview and predictions, man. So I'm going to go through each game on y'all schedule and preview and predict it, man. And y'all already know, man. Let's get straight to it. On August the 26th, y'all got the Navy midshipmen, man. Shout out to the Navy. I love how them guys over in the Navy, they, you know, they protect the United States and they helped us. This game is in Dublin, Ireland. So y'all got to go, you know, across the country to play this game, which that is super dope. Y'all get to play in Ireland outside of the United States. That's dope. But in this game, man, I got to go with y'all beating the Navy midshipmen, man. Them guys over there at Navy don't really take football so seriously. You don't really see no NFL draft players coming out of Navy. You know, they over there trying to kill, you know, Hudam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden. They ain't, you know, they ain't really worried about, you know, beating Notre Dame on the football field. <laughs> y'all just more talented, you know, than them. Um, y'all have a great quarterback in Sam Hartman. Uh, Marcus Freeman, this is an easy game for him to win, man. Very, very easy. So I got y'all winning this game pretty easily. Um, I'll say y'all have them, you know, out of the building by, you know, late third quarter, early fourth quarter. Y'all had y'all second strings in, man. So that's the dub for y'all. On September the 2nd, y'all got the Tennessee State Tigers. Come on, man. This is a home game for y'all. Tennessee State is trash. I never heard of this team. Like, bruh, like I never heard of no Tennessee State. I heard of Tennessee, you know, Tennessee Vials, but not no Tennessee State. So I think y'all should beat the Tennessee State Tigers pretty handily. Y'all better not let them do what that one team did last year when they came in an underdogs and came in y'all stadium and purely upset it, y'all, in like week two, which was terrible. You feel me? Y'all shouldn't have never, ever, ever let that happen. They upset it, y'all, and they was an FCS school. That was embarrassing. And that's what I'm saying, like coaching experience. I don't really think y'all's coach – uh, Marcus Freeman is really ready for that, man. I don't. I just don't think he ready. But, you know, y'all going to get that win on September the 2nd versus Tennessee State. That's a, you know, that's a cupcake. On Saturday, September 9th, y'all got the NC State Wolfpack in Riley, North Carolina. Listen, that is a tough place to play, NC State. I don't know. NC State is one of those teams that's consistent one year, inconsistent the next. Consistent one year, inconsistent the, the next. So how did they do last year? They did terrible last year. So this year, they might be pretty good. So you never know what you're going to get out of this team, man. Like I said, it's a trap game. They can beat y'all in their field, or y'all could go in there and dominate them. I think y'all going to go in there and dominate them, but I would not be surprised if they upset y'all there because I just don't believe in Marcus Freeman. I, I just don't. Last year, he lost to teams that he should have never lost to and he beat teams that he should have never beat so it's like i'm getting one one way i'm like okay this guy he can win a big game then the other way i'm like but he's losing the games that's important so that makes me see an inconsistent coach so y'all could lose that game or win that game but i got y'all winning that game and i got y'all starting off y'all year three and oh which is a good start for Notre dame on September the 16th, y'all got the Central Michigan 
Sheepy Was. I don't know that last name of their team, but that's weird. But Central Michigan, that's a team that um airs I mean Antonio Brown played for the you know, Antonio Brown, the NFL football player, the wide receiver that broke so many records in it, you know, the NFL. But you know, Central Michigan is not really a good team, man. Y'all should be able to blow them out, you know, have them done out of the game by mid, you know, third, mid, fourth quarter. One of the two, y'all should have them out. And in this a home game, that's easy for y'all to win. And then on September the 23rd, y'all got the big one. This the big boy right here. Y'all play the Ohio State Buckeyes at the Notre Dame Stadium. Listen, my Buckeyes, we ain't losing to y'all this year. I got my Buckeyes winning this game pretty easily. We beat y'all last year at the shoe. Yeah, it was hard, you know, but it was the first game of the season. We were still trying to get our rhythm. If y'all wanted to beat us, that's where y'all want to catch us, but y'all not about to, you know, catch us and beat us mid-September. That's just not happening. Y'all was better off scheduling us for September 2nd. That was y'all best bet, but y'all schedule us on September 23rd. We're going to already have a rhythm for the season, man. Y'all already know what we coming with. The best wide receiver in the nation. One of the best running backs in the nation. I don't know about our quarterback play. I don't know if Kyle McCord is good or if Devin Brown going to be the quarterback. I don't know yet, but I know that it's not going to matter because we got more talent than y'all on the outside. We're going to put points on the board. And our defense is, you know, they're going to be ready. They're going to be hunting. They're going to be wanting to go out there and prove something because last year we ain't in the year on a, you know, on a high note. Our cornerbacks was getting beat by Michigan and Georgia. They was running wide open. So we're going to go into Notre Dame. Yes, it's going to be tough for us because that place going to be rocking. Trust me. When they know that the Buckeyes is coming in the stadium, every Everybody stadium get the rocking. That's the most tickets Notre Dame going to sell all season. But y'all already know what we're going to come in there and do to y'all. It's just, a, it's, it's just y'all should never schedule this. It's what it is, man. And that's just going to mess up y'all playoff run, man. It's just what's going to happen. So I got my Buckeyes winning that game. So, so far, I got y'all 4-1. and one. Going to September 30th. Then on September 30th, y'all got the Booty Duke Blue Devils. Duke Duke is one of those teams. Last year, they had a good year. This year, they're going to be terrible. So I got y'all blowing out Duke in Durham, North Carolina. Yes, you got to go to Duke. But listen, Duke ain't, ain't nobody to be scared of. It's not a team to be scared of, especially since they had a good season last year. They inconsistent. They're going to have a bad season this year. I So I got y'all, you know, beating Duke. And then on October the 7th, y'all got the Louisville Cardinals. Listen, Louisville is a good team. You feel me? Like, like, but they not a team that scares me. You know, they not a team that can beat Notre Dame unless Marcus Freeman come with that beginner coaching. Like, Marcus Freeman, he he's a new coach. Like, he got to, you know, I don't like his offensive scheme. Even in y'all got to take into consideration y'all just lost y'all offensive coordinator and Tommy Reese, so y'all gonna have a whole new system. Um, I know y'all got an experienced quarterback and Sam Hartman. Sam Hartman is a you know he's a good quarterback. You feel me? He broke records in the ACC at Wake Forest, but he ain't like a quarterback like a Caleb Williams, like a C.J. Stroud, like quarterback that could just break open a game and and win a game based off of arm strength. He ain't one of those. So I got y'all beating Louisville, but. You know, it's going to be a close game. Y'all got to go to Louisville. That's never an easy place to play them. They fans in that stadium be rocking, especially if y'all go in there with one loss. Nine times out of ten, y'all going to be a top 25 team. On October the 14th, y'all got the USC Trojans, but y'all got the USC Trojans at home. Listen, last year, Caleb Williams destroyed y'all. This year, I got him doing the same. Even though y'all got Sam Hartman on the other side, a quarterback that could put up points. Caleb Williams is one of those guys, man. I'm telling y'all, Caleb Williams is as advertised. He's the Heisman Trophy winner. He going to put a lot of points on the board. He going to run up that scoreboard, and he going to do y'all dirty. You feel me? That's just how I feel. So I got USC winning that game. So I got y'all losing to Ohio State and USC. I don't understand why y'all scheduled two teams like that, two high-power offenses like Ohio State and USC. I think that was stupid. And and then y'all got to play Clemson. That's just stupid. I don't understand why y'all do that. It, it never gives y'all a chance to go to the playoff. Like, y'all scheduling is terrible. Y'all should fire the Notre Dame head. I, I just think that it's all about money, for real. That's, that's how I feel. It's all about money. 
On October the 28th, y'all got the Pitt Panthers. Listen, Pitt always put a decent, you know, product on the field. They always a top 25 team. So you can never count them out. They always have a good quarterback, good wide receivers. So you you really can, you know, count Pitt out. They could put points on the board. But since it's at Notre Dame, I got y'all beating the Pitt Panthers unless Marcus Freeman ain't fired at this point in his season because y'all probably going to run him out the stadium if he lose to Ohio State, um, USC, and he, and he lose one of those games to Louisville. Come on, or Duke. Come on, man. Y'all going to run that black man out the stadium, man. I'm going to just be honest. But I got y'all beating Pitt Panthers, man, easily. On November the 4th, y'all got the Clemson Tigers at Clemson. Listen, last year, Marcus Freeman dominated Dabo Sweeney. This might be a game that Marcus Freeman actually, you know, uses to try to fight for his job with. So I feel like he, he going to beat Clemson because, you know, I just can't watch the game from last year and be like, Dabo is going to beat Marcus Freeman, you know. Unless I could give him the home field advantage, that may be a little bit different, might make it closer. But after what I seen last year, Marcus Freeman did Dabo Sweeney dirty. He, you know, he once I see that, you know, that dress, you know, open up, it, it just ain't the same no more. I just don't look at Dabo the same no more after that butt kicking he got. But that's just how I feel, man. That's just how I feel. I feel like Notre Dame gonna be Clemson, man. Okay. And then on November the 18th, y'all got the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Listen, Wake Forest, they ain't a team to play with, but they don't have a quarterback. Like I said, Notre Dame took their quarterback, Sam Hartman. Sam Hartman used to play for Wake Forest. Now he played for Notre Dame. So I got Notre Dame winning that game. Sam Hartman going to take over that game. Wake Forest is trash. But they're going to come in wanting to beat Sam Hartman for trading on it trading on his team so they might have that you know killer instinct and want to come try harder but i don't think it's going to be enough and y'all got that game in iris stadium in that you know that dome y'all play in or whatever on november the 25th y'all are at the stanford cardinals stanford always put a you know a decent team on the field they always have decent running back play um, a lot of great running backs came out of Stanford. Christian McCaffrey, more, you know, Christian McCaffrey is one of the best running backs in the NFL. So you already know Stanford going to have a stud running back um, back there. That's just their team identity. That's just how they rock and roll. You feel me? So I got Stanford winning that game. I mean, not Stanford. I got y'all beating Stanford. I'm sorry. And Stanford Stadium, I feel like that's a win. So for this season, man, I got y'all losing to Alabama. I mean, Ohio State, USC. Um, I think that's it. I got y'all going 10 and 2. I got y'all going 10 and 2 this year. And yeah, man, I really do, man. That's a great year for Notre Dame. I hope that y'all join the conference finally. Like, join the Big Ten or the ACC or the SEC. Join the conference because that would help y'all out for y'all college football playoff hopes. As long as y'all keep this independent, you know, wave, y'all going to always have a tough schedule. Like, y'all got to play Ohio State, USC, and Clemson all in one year. That's a tough schedule. That's a tough schedule, man. Because you ain't going to beat all three of those teams. It's just not happening. I could I could see the USC game be a toss up if Marcus Freeman defense come and dominate. I could see that being a toss up because y'all could get hot in that building. That's why I'm so scared for my Buckeyes because I know that y'all could get hot in that Notre Dame stadium because I seen it last year versus Clemson. But I trust my team though. I trust us. We we got experience. We got you know three years of experience at running back. So I I really trust our team and our second year in our defense. So. I, I trust it. Only thing I'm iffy about is our quarterback play. Uh, I just hope we don't put nobody stiff back there. I, I hope. Um, but yeah, man, it's your boy the slimy Lou. Make sure you like up, subscribe up to the channel, hit that notification bell, man, and I'm gonna continue to get y'all this dope content. I'm out. Peace.